after the fight, Turkey Ali Sheik said that he called Jerron Boots and they said Eddie Hearn to congratulate him, you know, and he wants to see Bud versus Boots. Now, that's very important because, you know, what what, what Turkey wants, Turkey gets. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. I know y'all watched the fights yesterday, but you know, we have one thing to take away from it, man. You know, Boots did his thing and Boots was shining. You know, Jerome Boots in this, you know, his highly anticipated ring return. You know, in addition to that, you know, he's had his um his homecoming back in his back back in Philly, you know what I'm saying? Against David Abadesian. You know, it was a great fight. And uh and, and, and Boots won, you know, just just like most of us anticipated, you know, no shocker there. But he definitely put on a good for, for good performance and he looked impressive, you know. And sometimes that's hard to do with all the expectations placed upon you, you know, especially with your homecoming, you know, all, all that good stuff. You know, sometimes it could be uh, your homecoming could be ruined because your opponent has something else on his mind. You know, ask Subriel Matias and Liam Paro. <laughs> You know, so so it's not always a, um, a given that you're going to win. You know, it's boxing as, as well. But, you know, Jerome Boots, and he has the skills to pay the bills. And that's exactly what he did. You know, they had a had a great, um, a great, great uh, showing out too. you know, Philly stood stood up for the young for the young champ. And that's, that's always good to see. You know, they had a great attendance, you know, from what they're saying and what Dan Raphael's reporting. So, <clears throat> you know, that's always a good thing. But after the fight, which is is, is the real news we need to pay attention to. Right. After the fight, Turkey al Sheik said that he called Jerron Boots and this is Eddie Hearn to congratulate him, you know, and he wants to see Bud versus Boots. Now, that's very important because, you know, what what, what Turkey wants. Turkey gets, you know what I'm saying? He, he makes he makes it happen, you know what I'm saying? So that's always good for fight fans. Big Turk has been holding it down for, for, for boxing as a whole, you know, especially for the consumer, you know. So um that fight would be good, you know, and um we'll see if it actually happens though, you know. But um I think it could happen next, man, you know. But of course there's a lot of things to consider, right? There's a lot of things to consider. First, number one, most importantly, and obviously that uh Bud has to get by his next opponent on August third, which is Israel Madrimov, you know, who 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 who's gonna be a good good opponent. Is he though? You know, he's a champion. And not only that, it'll be uh, Bud be making he'll be making his uh, debut at 154, so it'll be the highest weight class he's ever been. That's number one. Number two, you know, while we do want it to happen, you know, um, we don't know what conditions need to be met for 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 Bud to actually fight Boots. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, Big Turk has the big wallet, and has the big bank, but I don't know how much they want. I don't know if it's been discussed, and I don't know if Big Turk will be willing to, willing to spend that money because he also said he wanted Canelo and David Benavidez too. But um, he is that he has up until this point he has not made it clear if he will foot the bill for what Canelo asked for what two two hundred million two hundred fifty million. He hasn't made it clear whether or not he will front that money yet. You know, so that's not always certain. But um, I will say though, you know, considering that Bud is a very smart guy, you know, a very intelligent guy, I would assume that since he's been talking with Big Turkey, we know it's been documented that him and Turkey Alashik have been in talks for a long time. You know, that's evident with with the August third card that's coming up, right? You know, that's a Big Turk card, so you know, he, it's obvious that he's been in conversations with Big Turk for a while. They have a nice little friendship there, so I think it's safe to assume. With that being said, and considering how smart uh, 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 Bud is, that as soon as he got with Turkey Alashik, he discussed two things. He probably he probably prioritized two things to have a conversation about. One, Canelo. A future fight with Canelo and two a future fight with with uh, with Boots. So I would assume I think it's safe to assume we don't know, but I think it's safe to assume that they've already had these discussions and these talks. You know what I'm saying? So I I would say that man that fight could be happening sooner than we think. You know, especially with if Terrence Crawford beats Israel Madrimov, you know, and uh, and uh, Eddie Hearn doesn't get a doesn't does it uh, schedule a quick fight for Jerome Boots Ennis after beating David Avenesian in five. You know, with him not coming out for the sixth round, uh, man, we could assume that uh, that that fight could happen next, man. And Boots has already declared that he could go to 154, one, one, stay at 147, go to 154, even 160 potentially. Now, I will say this though, I will say this though, man. Um, oh man, what the hell is I gonna say? What you getting at with the book script? Spit that shit out, man. Two hours later. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Of course, with the uh, with the fight happening, you know, and uh, David Avenesia being a common opponent for uh, for Bud and Boots, you know, a lot of people are very excited uh, about Boots' performance, and I am too. I thought he was very impressive, and he's definitely a formidable opponent. Obviously, you know, can't take anything from the game, David Avenesia. You know, he's very game, very strong opponent, and and, Dave, and Boots made it look easy. You know, 
while I do think he looked impressive, we also have to consider, too, that, you know, uh, Boots did get David Avedisian out of there one round earlier than Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford got it done in six. Boots got it done in five. Yeah. However, with that said, we also have to consider the circumstances around it as well. You know, um, let's tell the whole story now, you know. Uh, Bud, Bud got him out of there almost two years ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and then in addition to that, David Avedisian took this fight on short notice because it was supposed to be Boots versus Cody Crowley. Yeah. And so he was a replacement, so meaning that he didn't get a full camp to dedicate to to uh, Jerome Boots in this, you know what I'm saying? Which I don't think that would change much, but we just got to tell the whole thing. So yes, Boots got him out of there uh, one round earlier, but it was a year and a half later, almost two years later, and, you know, D David Avedisian didn't have a full camp to dedicate to Boots like he probably did to Bud, you know? But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do you think that Boots and Bud... Uh, um, will fight do you think they should fight and if they do fight who do you think wins man me personally right now at this very moment i got bud man i got bud stopping uh boots i say by round 10 that's just my personal opinion man but i think it'll be a great fight you know i am convinced with boots and um yeah man i look forward to that fight hopefully it could happen you know what i'm talking about boots is a good fighter though shout out to boots man i appreciate y'all rocking me as always don't forget to hit that like button but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing y'all be easy the doctor's out from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.